Minnesota's Conviction Review Unit is recommending the murder conviction of a man in Hennepin County 15 years ago be vacated. Edgar Barrientos was sentenced to life in prison without parole in 2009. Ben Henry explains why the Attorney General believes his conviction should be thrown out. Ben? Kevin and Lindsay, this push to get that conviction thrown out and charges dropped come from the AG Office's Conviction Review Unit. They argue the state's case was, quote, weak. And here they outline why they feel Barrientos was wrongly convicted. It's really a shock, and, and it is so sad, and it was not called for. In the days following the October 2008 shooting death of 18-year-old Jesse Mickelson, loved ones shared sadness and frustration. Didn't do nothing to nobody. He stayed to himself. By spring, a Hennepin County jury had convicted Edgar Barrientos of first-degree murder. Now, more than 15 years later, Work is underway to get that conviction overturned. Outlined in this 182-page report, the Minnesota Attorney General Office's Conviction Review Unit argues Barrientos' life sentence should be thrown out, writing there was no physical evidence connecting Barrientos to the crime and that the firearm involved in the murder was never found. They also say he was seen on video in a grocery store with his girlfriend less than 33 minutes before the shooting and inside her apartment 28 minutes later. Phone records, the Conviction Review Unit says was never shared with the jury, provide concrete evidence that corroborates Barrientos' alibi. Another argument made was that Barrientos had short, dark hair at the time of the shooting and that all eyewitnesses of the shooting said the shooter had a bald or shaved head. This now heads to the Hennepin County Attorney's Office for review. In a statement, County Attorney Mary Moriarty writes, the allegation revealed, allegations revealed by the Attorney General's investigation and described in the defense pleading are deeply concerning, adding they know this is painful for everyone and that they will work to respond as soon as possible. Kevin and Lindsay, the county attorney, said a judge will have final say in all of this. Okay, Ben Henry reporting.